Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Discover 2016 Las Vegas. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live inside theCUBE at HPE Discover. This is SiliconANGLE Media's flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante. Our next guest is Susan Blocker, who's the global VP for Hewlett Packard Enterprises Servers, Server Marketing. Welcome to theCUBE, welcome Thank back. Thank you so much, appreciate it. So we just heard from Scott Wellis, Senior Vice President on the front lines. Really the stovepipe mentality of the old IT environment is shifting to a composable, cloud-like, agile-like, and that's because best of breed shifting to, you know, converged right. and composable software. That's right. So this is changing the game on value proposition. Absolutely. So take, us, take a minute and, and share with the folks before we start on what is the server portfolio look like? You know, it used to be back in the days, rack and stack servers, yes. you know, boxes, feeds and feeds, not anymore. You're dating yourself. So I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> they're, just, they're just box pushers. <laughs> so not a box pushing market anymore, it's a, the right job, right tool for the right job, right compute. Quick update on, give us an, uh, a all quick right. update on the servers, yeah, I mean, how you, they're all laying out. You hit the nail on the head. I think our customers are telling us, you know, one size does not fit all. And so, there, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword uh, in this perspective. HPE has a breadth of the portfolio to really address, you know, whether you need specialized, workload-optimized compute, we've got you covered. But we've also got strong, enterprise standard architecture platforms like Rack and Blade, et cetera. We're innovating around transformational technology like HPE Synergy and composable infrastructure. And honestly, even for simple workloads like virtual VM uh, virtualization with VMware or whatever, um, we're bringing to market now hyper-converged systems that make deploying virtual machines incredibly fast and easy. So with all that breath comes a little bit of the downside of that double-edged sword, which is, you know, I've got a nail, I've got a hammer so everything looks like a nail. Well, in our case, we've got the breadth of the portfolio. We have to help our customers really understand which compute is right for them. And so we've got some really structured ways of helping customers ask the right questions so that we can guide them to the right compute whether that be specialized or general purpose flexible. So when you guys look at the marketplace and your customers, they want different tools, the right job, or no, no one size fits all, now with IoT on the horizon, you're seeing different outcome-based architectures. Yes. So the big challenge with solution architects today is, okay, I got some cloud. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah. I'm on-prem or I have some private cloud or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I have to do different things. Yes. It's driven by the workloads. Yes. Exactly. How do you make the hardware or platform agile enough to be adaptive to the workloads? Yeah, and, and honestly, our, our customers' consumption models are changing. I mean, right to your point, it used to be all about data center compute, and obviously that's HPE's strength, so we have a great breadth and depth of portfolio in data center compute, but now as customers are looking at cloud, both on-premise and off-premise, public cloud, um, HPE is innovating to bring compute platforms to service providers so that we can help our customers have a seamless transition between on-premise, private, and public cloud. And we're also innovating completely outside of the data center with IoT, Internet of Things, really focused on industrial Internet of Things like manufacturing, aerospace, aerospace autom automotive um, industries, and helping them extract analytics and insight without ever having to bring that data back into the data center. And so that's not moving the data. Not moving the data. So imagine you, you know, where the data originates, back out there at the devices, the things, we can actually aggregate that data, analyze it right then and there, create real-time insight before you even have to move anything back into the data center. So give us a picture of the business. Business is pretty good. You know, we this, see, this we great. watch HP's results, there's, there's growth, converged yes. infrastructure is exploding. Yes. Um, you, this portfolio strategy is working. Give us the business update. From a business perspective, look, demand for compute is growing. What's shifting is what 
what our customers are using that compute for. So like I said, we're seeing more and more of a high growth in the service provider market. So this is where they're looking not for so much the high value compute capabilities, but high scale compute capabilities. They want open architecture, open stack, very scalable. Um, and we bring them that through our cloud line portfolio. In the enterprise space with our enterprise customers, that's where our speed, sweet spot is really our ProLiant platform, HPE Synergy, composable infrastructure, our Blades platform. And for workload optimized, things like high performance computing, HPE Apollo, mm -hmm. really optimized, really targeted, high density, high scale um, HPC. So the, the R&D pipeline of, I don't know, last several years, I'd even say last five years, starting to really hit yes. and kick in on, on all strides. And then combine that with the whole big data theme, that's this whole new workload. Yeah. New that, yeah, we had data warehouse before, that's nice, data yes. market. But it's different now, right? It is and, really different now. I mean, I think that, you know, we knew all along that cloud and big data, security and mobility were going to be really the transformational topics for our customers. Um, and spot on, as we look at cloud computing and big data, that's really where we're seeing, you know, accelerated growth from a compute perspective. Susan, can you talk about the role of the channel in all this transformation yeah, to this sort of absolutely. workload portfolio? It's critical, John was talking earlier absolutely. about how we're moving from box seller to solution provider. What does that mean for HP? How have you navigated through yeah, that Yeah, so that's HPE, a great sorry. question. And in fact, HPE just um, announced that we are uh, divesting and selling our enterprise services business. So actually, the role of the channel is even more critical now yeah, because right. now we're looking at you know, the system integrators and how do we increase the investment in helping bring value added services from the system integrators to the technology that we bring to the market. We're reaching into the small and medium business with things like ProLine Easy Connect and I know that you guys talked about that um, with McLeod Glass at some point. So um, we need the channel to help us really reach into these spaces. But we need the channel to be enabled around some of these high value workload areas like high performance computing, object storage, hybrid cloud. These are hot topics and our resellers and channel partners have to bring that value. And, and so and when we talk about generically solutions, right? Yeah. So you just mentioned a few sort of workload oriented as well. SAP specialists, Oracle specialists, the VMware HANA, specialists, are you, yeah. are you finding? pockets there as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look at it from a database workloads perspective, there's the big trifecta, which is SAP HANA, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our customers are asking for specialized, optimized compute specifically for those platforms, so high uh, performance per dollar impact on those platforms. So we've got things like uh, our integrity, mission critical platform, Superdome X, um, some of our Converge systems, HC380, which is our VM vending machine kind of Converge system. So all of that is really helping our customers to exploit the value of Oracle, SAP HANA, and Microsoft SQL. Are, are your, so most of your business is, is through the channel, right? We know that. That's but right. Is your HPE Salesforce sort of organized by solution as well, or we is that We have um, techn technical sales expertise around each of these solution and workload areas. That align. And then they partner with the channel so that we can actually work the deals with the channel partners and bring in the technical expertise that may be required, especially for the first few times in a new solution area. And then, you know, let the partners go and, and run them uh, on their own. So I got to ask you the question that we always talk about um, is density. Yeah. Data center, cloud solves that yeah. problem. But now with IoT, you're talking about moving the data center to the edge, that's what you were referring. Yeah. So I got to ask you, HP's always had good compute. Yes. So great servers, right? Yes. So, but it's changing. Yes. Always had a core competency in like measurement software, systems management, and also packaging. Yes. How do those three things come together? Because the trend is to make a smaller server. That's right. And the edge needs a smaller server. Yeah, and let me, let me just say it slightly differently. I wouldn't say a smaller server, I would say portability of a compute solution, right? 
so that you can put it anywhere. You can hang it on a wall, you can drop it onto an oil rig in the middle of the ocean, you can you know, put it on a machine floor, places you would never have put compute before, right? And in order to do that, it's got to be rugged, environmentally hardened, it's got to have a form factor that fits you know, that yeah. need. And so one of the interesting things that we're doing is we're repurposing our Moonshot microservers to leverage that technology in our new Internet of Things edge line server platform, which is really that edge computing capability in a form factor that's rugged, small, portable, and able to go anywhere. It's interesting, Dave and I talk about the iPhone, how it started um, with Steve Jobs, and it was essentially a computer that could make phone calls. Yeah. Versus everyone else made phones that could do text messaging and then email. Yeah. If you, if you think about it, what we, what's disruptive is if you have a data center that happens to be an IoT device. Right. So the, the trend that we see is a data center's on the oil rig. That's right. Not, and so how small can it go? Yeah. So, the, so yeah. that's the question, how small can it go? How small can a data center truly be, in theory, if you think that a computer can become a phone yes. versus a phone being a computer. That's right. So then you can flip it around and say, the edge device yes. is a data center That's that right. happens to run an application. That is right. And the cool thing about your phone is that, you know, at, actually it's an IoT device. It measures, you know, orientation. It knows when you turn it on its side. It can do, you know, it's got GPS technology. So it has a lot of data. Well, imagine if you're doing on an oil rig seismic analysis of the ocean floor, and today you've got a, you know, helicopter tape loads worth of data up and out to your data center, and you know, three weeks later you'll know what what you actually were looking at down there, and then you can make a decision. Well, imagine if you can put that compute technology right out there where you're collecting that data and make real-time instantaneous decisions about where you want to drill or what you need to do and how you need to do it. And that's the power of IoT and edge computing. So it's a new category, Dave. Bring your own data center to work. <laughs> Bring your own data center, that's right. So that really is a trend, though. That, you are seeing that, and that's what a strategy you guys see with the servers. It's three horizons, and I'll tell you what they are. We have to continue being the best provider of innovative data center solutions bar none. That's number one. Number two is we've got to help our customers transition to cloud, on-premise and public. Number three is the internet of things. Those are the three horizons that all of our customers are talking to us about in one way, shape, or form. And one is table stakes. Table right? stakes. I mean, you have to be best of breed. That's where we are best of breed, and that's where we've been best of breed. Right. But we can't stop there because the market is moving. So the thing that I'll bring up is that the edge is not always pleasant. It's, you know, <laughs> it uh, could be a hostile environment. It's hostile. So you have a threat, surface area attacks. Oil rig obviously is <laughs> going to be the rugged yeah. version of the server. Telco but in general, base station, any whatever. edge device is a potential security threat. So yeah. for hostile, potential hostile, potential energy for hostility is high. That's right. How do you view that? Well, look, security is going to be a critical, and security and management, because imagine now you get all this compute out there on the edge, how do you manage all that, right? So really, that's the beauty of having the in-depth expertise in the data center technology, because we're bringing that security capability and that manageability into these um, IoT edge line compute uh, solutions and really giving that robust security and manageability right out to the edge. Well, nerd blurt out there is just commenting that he disagrees with my smartphone analogy. I will disagree with you with that. We'll take that debate on Twitter. Uh, he <laughs> says there were smartphones before the iPhone. I had a Nextel smartphone with Windows. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. Was pushed to talk. That was still a <laughs> communication <laughs> device. Happy to debate that. It ran, you know, what? Um, Phone.com, you know, web browser. I think was it. Um, <laughs> Hey, you we'll really are dating yourself. <laughs> you should just say, I'm too young to remember that. Yeah, you know? I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Irish, I remember all the bad technology. Um, Susan, thank you so for coming it on. It was a pleasure, I really appreciate it. it, guys. Thanks so much. We are live, the keynote's coming up next. Meg Whitman and the execs at HP are going to trot out the vision, the update. Here from Meg Whitman, I'm John Furrier. Dave Vellante here on the Cube, extracting the signal from the noise. We'll be right back after the keynotes. Continue watching, you watching the Cube. Go to crowdchat.net, HPE Discover for the conversation. We'll be on there for the keynote. We'll see you after the keynote.